my name is Ben Nergy. I am 12, but I'm turning 13, and I go to Lampton High School, and this is my game. So, so this is the tutorial, and I'll show you the skip button um, near the, at the end. So you have the gun, which is ranged axe and pickaxe, which are both melee. Um, but the axe does double damage while the pickaxe does half. But the axe, the axe can collect you wood, while the pickaxe can collect stone ore and yeah, stone gold iron. So this is my game, and so the zombies are spawn, and you've got to collect to shoot them. You can collect the cash. So this is your cash. Also, your gun will jam if the zombies get too close. And fun fact about the, the jamming thing, it was originally a bug, but I was like, you know what? This is actually kind, kind of a cool idea. So this is the score, which is what you get. You get score by saving humans. You can't really see that the, the humans spawn there. Uh, you can also upgrade. So this is health, so it increases your max health and heals you to full. This increases your damage, so you do more damage and that increases your move speed. So this is your house and I'm just going to add some resources to show you how you build. So when, once you equip the blueprints, you click and it comes up with this UI. So you press space bar to confirm. So you click the arrows to move around and you go, and it has the cost here. So you go, oh yeah, this is two stone, one iron, one wood. I have these resources and I will place down one of everything. So this is the landmine. You can't build outside your range, which is really cool. That's also a bug. But, so you place, place these, I'll, I'll also build another basic landmine to show you. The level 1s, you detonate them, but they don't do damage to you. The level 2s, only zombies can detonate. And the walls, what they do is they make the zombies go around them. So, the zombies... And they hit a wall, they'll start curving after you. And the turret is really cool because it shoots out of one of its four shooty holes in a random direction. Also, um, if if you don't have enough resources. So it says you can't afford that. Can't afford that. You need one more iron. So say that. Can I have? But so it will say, hey, you can't afford that. So I'll just go through here. So see the zombie how it moves and the landmine's detonating. That was a person up there, but the zombies got them. So the turret also shoots. They're not. You can only, You also can only have six turrets. So if you, so if you build, um, six, then you go to build another one. It'll say max turret count reached. So some of the code is. So this is for the cash. So the cash gets cloned by the zombies when they die, and when the cash. And when the zombies die, the cash goes to the zombies add um, death location, so they add, add the X and Y to death location. So the cash goes to that, and then it deletes death location. So as well, you can do delete two, uh, two and one, or just one and one because it moves up the list. Then you then the zombies also use cash type. So if it equals one, it's just cost him to the first one. If, it, if cash types two, it switches to this one, and if it's three, it switches to this one. 
then it shows then this is a code that I made in here so if you type cash claw that turns to yes then you can click the mouse with your mouse pointer then when when it touches the player after completing that it will change the cash start sign collect and delete the coin so the enemies when they when you start they wait five seconds then if the scene is is wasteland forest or mines pretty much not the house then they will begin um, making clones so each area has its own set of spawn times and then this is the zombie script so so when a zombie starts as a clone it picks a spawn point which is if it spawns here here or here this is some code so this is the wall code this is the projectile code so that's how i made the axe do double damage and the pick do half damage from pickaxe and it's a turret and the explosion and touching you and then died i just moved this to a block to make it easy to edit so that just says how um change zombies killed add x y death location and cash type so these are all of the areas or locations in the game so you have the wasteland this is the only area humans spawn in and the area where the most zombies will spawn in as you can see that's a human up there so this is the wasteland uh, this is the this is your house where you can upgrade and uh, this is the woods where you can collect wood with your axe see how the wood spawns there and the next area is the mines zombies spawn the slowest here and i got unlucky and you can collect stone from all of these um all of the rocks there we go so that's how you collect resources that's all